producing class musicians. Now those legendary performers are being honoured in the brand new SA Music Hall of Fame. Paul Macon was given an exclusive tour and caught up with one of the inductees, Julie Anthony. Here is the news. When I walk down the streets, see the people who stop and stare and say, Haven't I seen that face somewhere a long time ago? It is something rather special about Adelaide. We do punch above our, above our weight, and we're all proud of it. And this is what this is here to exemplify. I've had 44 years of doing what I love, and that was the only reason I ever did it. Suddenly, you've made it. <laughs> You're on the Hall of Fame. The brainchild of the late David Daisy Day, the Hall of Fame finally has a permanent home. Americans that really celebrate their own, something that I, didn't, I don't think that we do very well, but we've begun to do it, and I think the AMC and the Hall of Fame, the SA Music Hall of Fame, is now doing it, and it's so important. Enrico Marina, the president of the Hall of Fame and its curator, Victor Marshall, admit the collection may be in the tiniest rooms at St Paul's in the city at present, but that will change. We have adjoining rooms which have been offered to us by the people here at St Paul's, we will expand into those areas when we get a little bit more funding and a bit more time, hopefully next year. Meanwhile, this small space houses the very best. This is a Hall of Fame for the people that have been inducted. And what a roll of honour it is. The who's who of local talent. Someone who has performed at a national or international level, not just a local level, and has left a legacy for us to aspire to. Like singer Bev Harrell. I mean, all the other states get recognised, so it's really wonderful that South Australia now is doing something. And Evan Jones, who co-wrote the pushbike song for The Mixtures. The honour is, is amazing because you've been doing what you liked or loved all your life and trying to do your best at it. And there are some real gems in the collection. Pete Birdle sent us a photo uh, from August 16, 1977. It's the day Elvis died and it's the moment that Glenn Shorrock found out Elvis had died and he's sitting there with the newspaper at, at the airport uh, and, and it's just all on his face. This is his hero has just passed away. The latest inductee into the Hall of Fame is the former First Lady of Music and the girl from Galga, Julie Anthony. It's a great honour. It's terrific. I mean, I'm just this kid from the bush who started out here jobbing around uh, on, on the River Murray in, in hotels and then coming to Adelaide and doing the same thing here. Yes, we Julie has sung with the best of them over her four decades in the biz, but the highlight? I think it, it has to be the Olympics because uh, that's a one, sir. I can't have another shot at that. In fact, Julie is donating that blue Carla Zampatti dress to the Hall of Fame. I don't know how it works. <laughs> It wind, things wind around you. Chiffon goes here and there and drapes here and you do this with it. And I've never been able to work it out. This will be Julie's last TV interview. She's done. When I retired three years ago, I thought, well, there's the full stop mark, but it wasn't quite. But this is because it's the end stop in my home state to where, I mean, just down the road from where it all started. It's perfect. Julie Anthony's husband, Eddie, has been her manager for all of those 40 years. 
When this came up, Julie conceded to do just this one last thing because South Australia is so precious to her. These are the days I remember. But before we go... Julie, I want to get your reaction to a couple of your old album covers. What about this one? My God, she's so young. Oh. This one. Oh! Oh! Now, talk about hair. <laughs> this is the thing about... I know I've got unruly hair, but that must have been a bad day. And finally, very Olivia Newton-John. Oh, look! Isn't that a trick? Look at that little outfit with the little silver slippers and a towel around the neck. Oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I remember working with Sammy Davis Jr. and he brought it up because I was wearing that and he said, you've got some really interesting outfits, girl. And I thought, I don't think that was a compliment. <laughs> what a legend. And the Hall of Fame will be open to the public. Details are on our website along with how you can donate your own music memorabilia. Also, congratulations to all our winners of platinum seats to Elton John's concert at the Entertainment Centre tomorrow.